Okay, so I'm looking at the Livid base. It's USB class compliant, you can use it with anything. But I asked Jay to show us kind of the mapping for Ableton Live, which is very, very straightforward, right? Yeah, so how, this is how it's used in Live. There's, uh, you have multiple modes that can be accessed by the function buttons. Uh, and the first mode is launch clips. Um, you have eight tracks here and a master. Uh, you can also do your session navigation in the launch mode. Uh, if you hold down shift, you have all the track functions, arm record, solo, mute, uh, track enable. And mode two, you have sends. Um, and this is eight sends per track. You can use the top buttons here to select the different tracks. Uh, mode three, you have device control. And this is for an audio track, it gives you device control. And for a MIDI track, it'll give you instrument uh, control. So here I have a piano load, and this gives me all the uh, macros uh, that are enabled for that piano. Okay, so like my device macros are here in the top, and then my yes. instruments are at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and you can also, if your uh, device has, mul has more than eight uh, functions, you can use the... Uh, these buttons here to, to jump between the different uh, macros in that device. Oh, okay. Uh, so in instrument mode, you have your velocity sensitivity, which can be dialed in per pad. Uh, per pad velocity? Yes. Ah, okay, because some people have been asking for that, so per that's quite Per nice. pad velocity. Um, and then live, of course, if that's what you're using, also has velocity controls in some of their instruments. Sometimes they don't. If you're just in launch mode, it just it's not velocity sensitive uh, because you just want to launch clips. Yeah. Uh, but if you're in instrument mode, and when you select a, a MIDI track, it automatically... Uh, gives you the scales. And yeah, of course. The scales can be adjusted. You can adjust the offset, the root, um, and then you have all the access to all the scales within Live itself. And then just show us this case because this is like it's made out of metal, but so, it's really light. But so it feels like something I can yeah, throw so, in my backpack. So we designed this with no moving parts, so you really can throw it in your backpack and not worry about anything breaking off. Uh, it's made of all uh, aluminum uh, except for the face, and it's completely milled and manufactured and powder coated in Austin, Texas. That's right, you're making this in your shop. In yes, Texas. I've seen everyone. It's hard to see, but it's really nice. It's a sort of nice curved case, no sharp edges. No sharp edges. But really solid, design. but then really light. Yeah, single USB class compliant. All right, well, thanks, Jay. We have yeah. a lovely kind of a combination of organ music and soul in the background, <laughs> like Phantom of the Opera yeah. lounge lizard, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is cool. Uh, but thanks for showing yeah, that to thank us. You. We'll be looking at this soon. Out of stock now, but I guess we'll be able to get it so, again. Some dealers have it in stock. Uh, okay. We don't have it, but some dealers have it in stock, and we'll be making a lot more. Thanks.